Welcome back to the show. All right, whether you are a first-time home buyer or a seasoned pro, buying or selling a home can be challenging, and it's really easy to gloss over details and then regret it later. Yeah, and here with her tips for making the home buying or selling process a breeze is real estate expert, Erica Reddy. Welcome to the show, Erica. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, Erica, buying or selling a house is a huge decision, so talk to us about the common, potentially avoidable mistakes that you see people making during this uh, process. Absolutely. So it is obviously real estate is a hot button topic, let alone Canadian real estate and everybody trying to enter the market or sell within this market. And I see so many people make what I would almost say are unavoidable mistakes, but they aren't because you don't necessarily know they're a mistake if you don't know they're a mistake. Okay. So this is going to be a really fun conversation about what those mistakes are and to get a sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's okay. going to be a fun conversation. We're going to have a little bit of fun. You're going to put us to the test with a little true and false game. We have our paddles. Audience, you guys have your paddles? <laughs> All right. So I love this. So let's get started with our first question. Starting with a contentious one, true or false? As a buyer, you need a home inspection, true or false? A buyer, yes. Okay, almost okay. everybody. Oh, what is almost. It? Okay. Okay. True. It's okay. true? It's, is it? it is true. So, it's true. Well done, everybody. So at the end of the day, it's not an absolute must, but I would say it is a really, really wise decision to have a home inspection or get your hands on a copy of a home inspection mm -hmm. because there's a lot that it can uncover that you might just not know about or see to the naked eye, and that's what home inspectors are there for. Yeah. Okay, so next one. True or false, as a seller, it's better to just get your home on the market before worrying about smaller details. Mm. Oh, True no. True or false? Oh, I'm no, just gonna no, no. say false. false. Everyone here is amazing. <laughs> false. <laughs> Everybody. So yeah, absolutely. You want to think about absolutely everything. You want to make sure that there are no stones that you are not, you know, uncovering and unturning before you get to market. I think a lot of people sometimes think, oh, you know what? Why don't we get it halfway there and see how it sits? And then if we need to reposition, we can mm -hmm. reposition. But you're launching to the market once, and you want to launch in the absolute best light you possibly can. Uh -huh. Yeah, I feel like you can like hundreds of thousands of dollars difference from just like a good coat of paint. Anyway, um, good point. Uh, next yeah, I agree. up, whether you're buying or selling, you should use a realtor true or false what do we think Ooh. I, I actually I, think false I i'm saying know. true this one i'm confused but it's, it's false. false really oh. okay there we go so controversial. controversial so this is a really interesting one and the representation model is changing and you have seen a new rollout with the trust regulation of new rules and regulations around representation so there is self-representation there is a designated represent there's all sorts of ways you can represent so i think it's really important again that you know what representation model is for you mm -hmm. and you choose that right model when you're going into the market as a buyer or a seller Whoa. Got that one wrong. All right, okay. so let's move on to another controversial one. All right, you should never buy the first house that you see. True or false? I did it, false. but I'm going to say true. I'm going to say false. If you know what you're I'm looking say for. false. Absolutely. It's false? Yes. It's false. Okay, All right. So I always say in this analogy, the dating and the real estate world are the same. When you know, you, you know. know. Girl. No. I really think it's important. Now, listen, you might see the first house you see and then second guess it for a second because you go, it's the first house I've ever yes. seen. Having said that, there's lots of ways to get a lot of market research and knowledge done really, really quickly okay. so that you can know that that is the right fit. Mm. Wow. Yep. It's like dating. <laughs> okay. <laughs> true. Um, all right, true or false. Let's say I'm ready to sell. My house showing can and should happen at any time of day. Mm. Oh, I'm going to say true. You you better get anybody in there to buy that thing. Uh -uh. I'm no. saying yeah. Oh, true. 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 Yeah. true. true. Okay, so this is what's interesting. And the false ones are what a lot of clients do. They're like, okay, so I prefer dinner at 5. We need bath at this. I've got this on Saturday. And I'm like, you're trying to sell your home. Like, what do you mean you have dinner at five? Right. You need to be out of your house if someone wants to be in your house. But a lot of people kind of go, I'm really flexible till we get on the market. And then they're not so But what about this idea uh -huh. of like having just like, I see this happen in certain neighborhoods. It's like they have an open house two days a week and then they just take bits. Does that, is that still a model or am I delusional? So no, you're absolutely right. There is that model of, okay, we open it up for certain windows and we just take bids, but there's still a ton of showings that happen around that we open it up. Uh, okay. So you want to be flexible. I mean, I was in a house the other day at 6 a.m. for an overseas client that needed to FaceTime. 
Okay, all right. A lot of pushback, okay. but I got in. Okay. Got it. Did you sell okay. the house? That's the question. <laughs> okay, because at 6 a.m., you better sell my house, Erica. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, true or false, as a buyer, you should bring friends or families to showings to act as a sounding board. Audience, would you bring your family and friends? Oh, that's no. Nope. Nope. No, I'm going to say false. Too many chefs in that kitchen. Yeah. False. Yes. False. Yeah. false. Yeah. Yeah, we and know now, I say this, and I say this with maybe a pretense of know your audience, because mm -hmm. there are situations when bringing somebody in might be helpful, but a lot of the times I find someone gets their heart set, they love a place, they're so excited, and they bring someone with completely different perspective from, you know, a massive home to come look at a little 400 square foot condo that they're so excited to buy, and they're like, sorry, is this all you get? Yep. Yeah. 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 And then yeah. we have this awkward back stepping, forward stepping. So really know the audience if you are going to be bringing people. Yeah, right. Don't bring board. the Debbie Downer family member. <laughs> They're the <Yeah>. worst. <laughs> okay, audience, true or false, when selling a home, pricing it, pricing it on the higher end is the way to go. True or false? I'm gonna say false. I think it's false. Oh. La, la, la. I need to bring you all with yes, me. Yes, it is amazing. False. <laughs> okay. False. Why not? So this is one of those things where sometimes emotions get the better of sellers. And you know, all of a sudden we sit down to the pricing conversation and it's, this is the reason why it should be this price, which typically is a very high number. We need to take emotions out. We need to look at data. We need to understand the market that we're trading in to determine the list price. Now, sometimes we're gonna list low with a bidding more, like you said, hold a date. Other times, we're going to list with a little bit of room for negotiation, mm -hmm. but pricing high and playing with emotions is not the way to go. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Did you guys learn something here today? Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. Erica, that. thank you so thank much. You. That was super fun. Uh, and don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. Hey, you. Come a bit closer. We've got so many more must-see interviews, spicy debates, lifestyle tips, and pop culture moments. So subscribe to our channel by tapping the logo below and don't miss out.